Hey guys, Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and today's episode is actually a another short form version of another episode that we did about a year and a half ago. Okay, so I made a, an episode about a year and a half ago where we, we I did diamond testers versus moissanite pass or fail. Okay, so now uh, there's been a lot of feedback from that specific video, so I wanted to make another video this time around to make sure that I emphasize on specific points. So some of the uh, feedback that I received from the previous videos that um, you know first. Of all, it's a little too long-winded, and uh, many people thought that the di the stones that were tested were all diamonds, as opposed to some being lab diamonds and and moissanite. Uh, so, in this specific video, what I'm going to do is I'm testing a natural diamond, a lab diamond and a moissanite with a diamond tester. Last time I used three different type diamond testers. Today I'm going, only going to use one uh, so that it can be a short form version for you. So you can definitely see that all three stones will pass many diamond testers in the marketplace. Okay, so uh, that being said, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using the Gem Oro. Okay, and what a diamond tester tests is the thermal conductivity of the gemstone. Okay, and again, we will be testing a lab diamond, a natural diamond, and a moissanite. All right, so I'm gonna get right into it for you. All right, so the first stone that I'll be taking out is a GIA certified natural diamond. Okay, so let's test it here. Uh, the test I'm using is again the Gem Oro Pro Tester number two. As you can see, the light goes all the way to the top, it turns green, and it indicates that it's a diamond. All right. Now the second stone that I'll be taking out will be the lab-grown diamond. Now what's the difference between a lab-grown diamond and a natural diamond? It's basically the same thing. It's made of almost 100% carbon. Uh, it's definitely a diamond. The only difference is that this is man-made. It's lab-grown and it's man-made as opposed to being mined from Mother Earth. Okay, so this is a lab-grown diamond. And let me go ahead and test this one. As you can see, it goes all the way up. Uh, the, uh, the light turned green and it indicates as a diamond. Okay, so uh, now the, the last stone uh, that I'll be taking out is the moissanite. Now, this is not a diamond. Okay, so I want to make sure I emphasize that uh, that a moissanite is not a diamond. Although uh, the diamond tester tests the uh, thermal conductivity of the stone to see if it passes a diamond, uh, it is not a diamond, uh, but moissanite is commonly used as a diamond alternative or a stone in its own right. Uh, so I'm taking out a stone that's approximately about two carats in diamond equivalent weight, or two and a half carats rather, in diamond equivalent weight. And there you go, that's the moissanite. And let's go ahead and test this one. There you go. As you can see, the, uh, the indicator also went all the way to the top, it turned green and it also indicates it's a diamond, although it's not a diamond. So this is uh, just to kind of show you what a moissanite, a lab diamond, and a natural diamond can be tested as in the marketplace, okay? A moissanite and a lab diamond both can be tested as a diamond with many different types of diamond testers. All right, so I hope you really like what you saw there. Uh, I know the moissanite and lab-grown gemstones and lab-grown diamonds are, are relatively new, so there's uh, many people out there that are not well-informed or educated on these specific gemstones, and uh, there were many comments indicating that uh, I was testing all diamonds, which I wasn't. Uh, that being said, uh, if there is still doubt for any reason, uh, there are three solutions that I would highly recommend. Buy a diamond tester and test it for yourself. Uh, number two, you could take it to a local jeweler and have them test it. Uh, or number three, you don't have to buy anything. You can just go to a local jeweler that is reputable, that knows uh, more of the lab-grown space, and they can confirm this information for you, okay? So in today's world, you have more options than just to buy naturals. Now, if you're a natural enthusiast, uh, then by all means, uh, buy natural diamonds. Uh, now, if you're not a natural enthusiast and you don't care, uh, then there are more options where the technology has caught up to provide more eco-friendly uh, type 
of uh, gemstones as well as budget-friendly uh, gemstones. So that is a point that I want to make uh, for people that are out there that's actually uh, wanting to be educated in jewelry and gemstones before making such a big purchase. That being said, thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.